Most days, I feel like an astronaut, stranded in space. I'm 18, and I've never been outside. If I did, I would probably die. This whole thing has been a dream. Just seeing them say the words that I wrote down. Every day feels exactly the same. Maybe today's different. I read the story and I was immediately drawn to the whimsy of it and real life emotional aspects of it that I could connect to, especially as a teenager. I see you checking your email, looking for him out the window. <laughs> After reading the book, it felt like it was a new voice in this world of YA literature. I tried to be very faithful to the book. Uh, it was really important for me because I felt like they wanted to see certain scenes and hear certain things be said out loud. Where would you go if you could? The ocean. Why? It's approximately three miles from here. I've never seen it. Maddie definitely has to use her imagination a lot in order to visualize what she wants. The more that he discovers about Maddie and the more that he gets to know her, the more that he begins to fall in love. Hello, little prince. We don't have to call it love. We just need a human touch. Is it always like that? It's never like that. <laughs> I wanted to bring the beauty through, you know? It was just important for it may be not to look like the average teen movie because I feel like Nicholas' book is not the average teen book. These four lonely walls have changed the way I feel. I wish you could have more than this. I know. One of the things I really wanted to explore in the book was whether or not love is worth risking things for. Nothing else matters now, you're not here. So where are you? Maddie, what are you doing? Come with me. Well, can I go? How are you feeling? It's important to step out of your comfort zone in order to have experiences that are beautiful and meaningful. <laughs> I hope that's something they take away from it, is it's okay to take risks, and that's the only way that live life on their terms, no matter what. Maddie, what's wrong? Why would you risk your life? I can't do this anymore. I'm trying to protect you. I don't want protection, I want you. Love is worth the risk. Love, love is worth everything, everything. <laughs>